What's up guys, and today we are going to be doing the Yai Miko story quest. It is about that time. We just finished up doing the Raiden Shoguns, and we are going to get straight into the next one, which I believe is over here. So as always, if you enjoy this video, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. That Raiden Shogun one was so emotional, dude. Like, Jesus. But yeah, we're right back into it. To the next one. <laughs> I've been recording so much stuff tonight. Oh lord, how to record the freaking polls too. So yeah, we, we out here today, we out here. So it says, You plan to visit the Yai Publishing House, but after arriving in Hananami-Zaka, you find that it is more lively than usual here? Alright, uh, Yai, I'll see you in a second, Yai, see you. <laughs> Don't mind me. I gotta go meet ye freaking Yai. Alright, so down here we go. But I'm excited, like, I'm, I would expect this to be very good. You know, Yaimiko is a great character, so I wouldn't expect anything less of a quest for her. So here we are. Hello, hello. We haven't been to the Yai Publishing House in a while. Paimon wonders if they have any new books in. The one we read with A that time is pretty cool. Listen, the last time we came over here is when it was Goro. It was the female version of Goro. Okay, <laughs> that's when we came over here. Come on, this is a no-brainer, man. There's only one thing worth wishing for, and that is a ton of Mora. The money. Okay. But the exams next week. If I fail again, I'm seriously done for. I'm better off wishing that my exam goes smoothly. Ah, it's just an exam. Trust me. There's <laughs> just an exam for it. Throwing Mora at it. If it doesn't work, then just keep throwing till it does. Hmm. What are they arguing about? It's quite a spirited debate. Mm-hmm. Huh? Really? You guys don't know? What you talking about there? Need but stand on this land at midnight, lower your head and recite a special incantation, then your wish will come true. And what does that mean? Looks like you guys really aren't in the loop. This, my friends, is the next big thing. A highly effective wish ritual guaranteed to make your wishes come true. <gasps> really? My, my wishes, my dreams are going to come true? Oh my gosh. Does that mean that I'm going to get... Ayato and win the 50 50. <laughs> Are they making fun of the Genshin community? Is this what this is right now when we do this, like the, the summoning rituals? Oh my what? god. Even knows that's just not how the world works. Yeah, tell it to us. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't believe it at first either, but that changed when it worked for someone I know. Really? Now who? It's this guy called Kunihiko. He's practically always been unemployed, wastes his days away, and he owes a lot of money. Like, a lot. But get Sounds this, like Arataki Ito. <laughs> see him for a few days, and suddenly, I find him dressed to the nines and feasting at a high-class restaurant. I heard it directly from him. He used this wishing ritual, and the next day he woke up to find his whole bed filled high with Mora. Really? His whole bed was filled with... <laughs> M -m 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 Listen, you're so excited you can barely get the words out. I'm gonna need you to calm down. Bye, man. All right, calm down. Of course, I'm sure the part about Good waking grief. up lying on a bed of mora is a bit of an exaggeration. Whether you believe it or not, it's not exactly a difficult ritual. It can't hurt to give it a try, right? Right. If you're still feeling skeptical, just ask around. There are a lot of very compelling stories going around these days. Really? Well, come on. Let's go ask around right now. Shall we? I had a sudden urgency. Well, if it really is true, then just think of all the more of Hyman could. Oh, and you'd finally be reunited with your twin too. <laughs> yeah, uh huh, uh huh. You just cared about the money. You don't care about me finding my sister. You just want to eat, Paimon. That's all you care about. The great Narukami offering. Here we go. Let's do it. I swear, that's all you ever care about. Go. You don't care about me. You just care about getting your stomach filled up with food. That's fine. It's all right. Oh, it's these two from the commission. Closer inspection, it seems like there really are a lot of people talking about this kind of stuff. <gasps> hey, see those two? Paimon remembers them from the AI publishing house. One's an editor and the other's an author. Yeah, it's almost like we've had to do their daily commission like 50 million Ask times. <laughs> Clear like, uh, clear like the light of the moon. As close as kin with you, mm -hmm. thou, with thee. Uh, 
hear my summons, right? What? What, what, what are you talking about, mate? No, no, it's not hear my summons, it's heed my summons. Heed. Heed. Ugh, you're never Such an idiot. This, right? Hey, what are you guys up to? Arguing as usual. Oh, you scared me. Okay. Okay. Uh, where did I leave off with the incantation again? Okay, listen, I know Paimon is t terrifying when you just see her out of nowhere. I'd be scared too, yeah. Incantation? Are you guys trying out this new wishing ritual stuff too? They might. Junkichi is trying it out to be specific. He's hit a bit of a creativity block recently, so... <sighs> I'm helping him make a wish so that he can move past it. I didn't think you guys would believe in this kind of thing, though. I mean, I obviously don't. But Junkichi never listens to an outside opinion, so all I can do is go along with it. Mm. Mr. Shigeru, can you please be a little more accommodating? This is extremely important to me. People have had all kinds of wishes come true. Become more attractive, get rich quick, ace their studies. I'm just a poor, struggling writer looking to get over a creative hurdle. Is that so much to ask? My guy about to start break down crying. <sighs> anyway, I just know this is going I to I get work. it though, you're on the grind, man. I understand. It. Didn't you say the same thing when you went to make your wish at the Grand Narukami Shrine? Oh, I just know this is gonna work. I have a gut feeling about it. Mm. Well, damn, he, he calling you out, putting you in a blast 4K right glory now. from the shrine take too long to have any effect on your luck. Uh, all right, enough of that. Help me get this incantation down. My new book depends on it. You really have a lot of faith in this right now. <sighs> Look, to be completely honest, I think you need to sit down and have a good think about what kind of story you want to write. Where's all that self-confidence you had when you first started out? Well, it's easy to have confidence in the beginning, but when you're struggling a bunch and you keep on grinding and grinding with what you're doing and you're not getting much out of it, that confidence starts to dwindle. It does. It happens. That's just life. But you gotta find a way to spark it up again, you know? And just not give up on yourself and re-innovate what you're doing. Anyways, I'm not here to give a motivational speech right now. from any old light novel? Wait, wait, wait. What? This wishing ritual comes from a light novel? Yes, yes. It's from the one called A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Okay, is it published by Yai Publishing House? No, it's most likely a self-published title. Like, talking fast forward right there. Nowhere and took Inazuma by storm. Mm. As a fellow writer, I'll refrain from passing comment on how well the story is written, but everyone is saying the wishing incantations it contains are the real deal. Mm. Look, Junkichi, yes, everyone's saying it's real, it works, but that's only half the story. I've also heard lots of people saying that everyone who's had their wish granted using this method starts behaving strangely. Wait, like they're on bath salts or something? What's so surprising about that? They're probably just giddy with joy at having their wish come true. Hmm, this is starting to sound a little suspicious. Now it's starting to sound suspicious? This thing sus sounded suspicious since the beginning. Something uh, it grants your wishes? What are you freaking genie? Why don't we go to the Grand Narukami Shrine and ask Yai Miko about it? Good idea. She's the expert when it comes to both light novels and the supernatural. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Let's check it out, see what Yai has to say. Yo, Yai! You know about this damn bootleg genie from Aladdin? You know what's going on? I would love to know. This is how we'll get a perfect answer out of her. We bring in the Shogun. <laughs> she will spill her heart out right now. Wonderful, wonderful. How do you do? Well, hello there, young ones. What brings you to the shrine? It just so happens that I have a wonderful novel here. I highly recommend it. We'd like your expertise on something. Oh? Well, what did you want to ask? Well, we were just... Uh, actually, you look kind of busy. Is this a bad time? Yeah, you, it looks like somebody's over here praying to you. They're begging. <laughs> no, not at all. It's nothing major. Okay. L Lady Guji, what do you mean, nothing major? I'm begging you, you've got to help <laughs> save my brother. <laughs> He's like, eh, nothing major, eh, eh, save his brother, eh. Whatever. But is he acting weird because he did a wish? It really is nothing major, I stand by that. Oh, but since you're so curious, let's have him relate the story one more time, just for you. Oh boy. You two seem to have a good relationship with Guji Yai. 
Please, put in a good word for me. You have to convince her to help my brother. Okay, what's wrong with your brother? Here's what happened. My name is Kato Yohei, and my brother is Kato Shingo. All he's ever wanted is to become a sword master. So he once asked Sensei Domon of the Meikyo Shisui art to take him on as a disciple. Ah, he wanted to be Zoro, I see. Domon turned him away, took one look at him and said he didn't have what it takes to train in the art of the sword. But my brother wasn't about to resign himself to defeat. He trained every day as hard as he could, and finally proved himself by defeating one of Domon's best disciples in a duel recently. Okay. And since his victory, he's been acting extremely strange. It's like he's become a completely different person. The doctors mm, can't find anything wrong Because he with made the wish to become a better sword fighter. Spirit. That's why I'm here, begging for Guji Yai's help. This is some type of black magic. <laughs> you know, there really aren't as many evil spirits lurking around as you seem to think. Your brother achieved the goal he'd been striving toward for as long as he can remember, and now it's gone. It's only natural that he feels a little empty and lost while he's trying to find a new direction. I mean, that could be true at the same time, but with what this mission seems like it's based off of, I don't think so. If it were me, I'd just leave him be for a couple of days. He'll recover on his own soon enough. Yeah, yeah. No, Lady Guji. If you saw him for yourself, you'd know. I guarantee you he's not acting like someone who feels empty and lost. Is he, is he acting like he's on demon time? What, 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 what's going on here? Can you tell oh, me? All right, all right. Then tell me, when did your brother spa with Domon's disciple? About five days ago. Is that when people started doing the wishes? Mm, five days ago, you say? Hmm. Yes, Lady Guji. That's a long time for him to be acting up like this. I'm really worried about him. Our greatest wish is to one day found our own school, just like Domon. We can't jeopardize that dream now. Wait a minute, now I'm a little confused. Are you here to save your brother, or are you here to make your dreams of founding a martial arts school come true? Mmm. Uh, well, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, aren't they? Uh-huh. <sighs> Whatever. But let me ask you're you You're getting this. her fed up, dude. Have you heard of any interesting new rumors lately? If so, what? If so tell me. Rumors? I, I haven't heard anything. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, dear. Well, that's too bad. You lying to Yai? Lady Guji, please stop changing the subject. This is someone's life we're talking about here. Please, you've got to help me. And this is where he goes back to the begging. Miko, he seems really desperate. This thing with his brother sounds really bad. Come on, you should help him. Yeah, he looks very pitiful. Enough. Okay, fine. Then it's decided. Yay, Miko! So you're gonna help him? No, we're gonna help him. Kato whatever your name was these two yep. guests are trusted acquaintances of mine and in fact they are experts in resolving all manner of i knew she was gonna make us do it because everybody makes us do crap Exorcisms everybody that sort of thing are all in a day's work for them of course we were we're experts at this yeah uh wait a sec huh <laughs> um r really yes is that hesitation that i detect in your voice so let me get this straight you come begging to me for help, I actually recommend someone for the job, then suddenly you start doubting me? Oh boy. Not at all, never. Uh, whatever Lady Guji says, I trust wholeheartedly. Yeah. Thank you for your willingness to help. Please follow me. Okay, well we're going. Now, Yippee. Wait a second, Miko. We may be a lot of things, but we ain't exorcists. Yeah, this is uh, beyond our level, yeah? <laughs> Don't worry. If he wants an exorcism, just grab a handful of salt and mutter some mumbo jumbo while you're sprinkling it around. Yeah, like that's gonna work. Okay. It's a common trick Thank you. Novels, Thank you, guys. Right? You just have to have a bit of bravado. As soon as the protagonist gains self confidence, everything else just magically falls into place. I'm pretty sure there's more to an exorcism than bravado, but. Well, you okay. were the ones who seemed concerned about his situation. Don't you think it would be a little unfair to make me do all the work? Man, we always do the damn work. Okay, well, you, you helped us in that ride in Shogun Quest. I'll give you that, so whatever, whatever. Dude. Besides, we both know you wouldn't be here at the Grand Narukami Shrine unless you had a request for me, too. This is an opportunity to demonstrate that you come in good faith. Mm. <sighs> this feels all wrong. But <laughs> we have a point, so... Uh, boy, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. 
Don't worry now, I'll be coming along too. Yeah, you better. Okay, let's follow Yohei and go visit his brother. Here we go. Once again, what could what possibly go wrong? Granted, you can never be quite sure what's going on in Nico's mind, but she seems even more disinterested than usual in Yohei's situation. Yeah. She seems fed up as hell, like she did not want to deal with it at all. I ain't dealing with this BS. Alright. Fair enough. I see enemies up ahead. Is that part of the story? How strange. No. <laughs> My brother's been meditating here pretty that much answered constantly the question. over the past few days, but now he's gone. Wonderful. Meditating? Yeah, it's something that he suddenly started doing after defeating Domon's disciple. He just sits there alone talking to himself. It's pretty disturbing, actually. Black magic, I'm telling you. But that's not important. Voodoo. Right now. Where the heck could he have gone in his current state? Hmm. This it must be the dude from the Princess problem. and the Frog that was doing voodoo. But... Find your brother. Actually, he's dead. No. <laughs> Never mind. We can't perform an exorcism with nothing to exercise, can we? Kato, whatever your name was. Oh my in god. Circumstances. Why don't you start by going to find your brother and also picking up a handful of salt on your way? We'll need to use it during the exorcism. You're just gonna throw salt in this dude's eyes. That's all you're gonna do. <laughs> you can't even remember his name. Okay. Okay. Got it. I'm on it. You're just distracting this guy. Nico, what about us? Shouldn't we help look for his brother too? <laughs> no need. While what's his face is handling that, we'll take a walk around and ask people what they know about the two brothers. Maybe we'll find out some amusing details. Maybe. Oh boy. Ask the villagers about Yohei and his brother. Hey yo, you know anything about them? Talk to me. That mustache though, Jesus. Like to ask you about the Kato brothers. Yes, yes. Oh, are you debt collectors? Yohei said to tell you not to worry. He'll be able to pay you back as soon as he has enrolled a few disciples. What? Collectors. We're not we're, we're not no, here for the no, money. We're not here for anything like not that. loan sharks. But uh it sounds like Yohei and Shingo have gotten themselves into a bit of a pickle. Money situation. Well, yes. I don't think there's any disputing that. Those two don't have an ounce of dedication between them. They just hop between ideas and won't stick to anything. Huh? I know people like that. Huh? His brother has always wanted to become a swordmaster and even asked Domon to be his sensei. That's true, yes. Shingo begged Domon to take him on, and eventually he finally relented. But even after convincing a renowned sensei to give him a chance, he was the same as ever, bumming around in class instead of focusing on his training. In the end, Domon had had enough and kicked him out. But Shingo was resentful about it. He blamed Domon for not seeing his potential. And even declared that he would challenge a disciple of Domon to a duel. Ooh. Wait, what? That's not what we heard. Well, we always hear the other side of the story. There's always two sides to a story, right? Oh, how interesting. We heard a slightly different version. My brother wasn't about to resign himself to defeat. He mm. trained every day as hard as he could and finally proved himself by defeating one of Domon's best disciples in a duel recently. <laughs> Yohei said that? That Shingo trained hard. That's ridiculous. He just lay there cussing to high heaven all day every day. Yeah. What a training regimen that is. Oh. Yohei Very good training. about Shingo winning the fight, but I took it with a grain of salt. You can ask Kenji at the village entrance more about that. He always has reliable information. Okay. Sounds good. Of course the dude lied about the story. <laughs> Of course. They out here capping like freaking crazy. I'll have to ask him about that once he comes back. Be like, oh, so uh, what was that story you were telling us? How about your brother? Hey there, we've come to ask you about the Kato brothers. You'd be like, yeah, they're bums. <laughs> oh, you mean Shingo and Yohei? Yeah, we heard that Shingo defeated an apprentice of Domon's recently. Is that true? <laughs> yes, it's true. Wait, so are you here because you heard they're starting their own school and you're looking to sign up? No, I'm not. We're not here to sign up, but we 
we would like to hear more details about the fight. Yes, talk to us, talk to us here. Oh, you've come to the right person. I actually went to watch it. Really? I thought it was a joke when I first heard that Shingo was going to challenge a disciple of the Mekyo Shisui art. But when he drew his sword, oh, he became a whole different person. Mm. The way he handled his blade, it was like flowing water, mesmerizing to watch. Domon's disciple is no pushover, but he was absolutely no match for Shingo. He had on the GTA freaking cheat codes real quick, but on the damn Konami code. Is Shingo really that strong? Man, whatever he took made him that strong, I wish. He seemed pretty euphoric Maybe he snored some bat salts and crack on He was celebrating on. very vocally, saying something like, What a duel. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Mmm. <laughs> Any other details to share? We've heard that Shingo has been behaving rather out of character since then. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'd definitely say that he has more energy than he used to. In the past, he never used to do much except lie around sunbathing all day. But just yesterday, for example, I saw him cutting down trees for the village head. In the space of one afternoon, he did what most people couldn't finish in three days. Not only Jeez. that, but he managed to fell a lavender melon tree with just one kick. My guy on some roids now. He got that roid rage. But he turned into a ninja turtle. Things got weird after that, though. The village head brought out some tofu for him, and he just flipped out. He shouted, what is that stuff? Keep that away from me. And then ran off. So they don't like tofu. Okay, that could be a weakness here. Lady Guji, esteemed exorcists. Finally, I found you. Where's your brother? I found my brother. He's at the waterfall. And I've got the salt you asked for, too. Give me some on, tofu. Let's go. No, we need tofu. Oh, as much as I'd prefer to stay and hear some more delicious details, I suppose we'd better be going now that he has been found. Why is she got to sound so damn seductive? No. Why? But yeah, let's go. Let's go exercise his brother. Oh boy, let's go exercise his brother. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. I already know this is about to be. This is about to be scuffed as hell. But here we are. A Geronimo and oh god, this is oh god. Okay, like that ever happened to you? Like when you're playing a game, you start feeling like you're actually falling, and your stomach is like, oh no, bro. <laughs> Him at the waterfall. So I see him. His brother. Whoa. He's meditating while Why does he look like Sasuke, bro? Oh. He looks like Sasuke right Pretty before wild. he was gonna fight, you know. Uh, spoilers for base Naruto. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, Naruto. That's <laughs> the damn waterfall dude with the statue. Hey, listen. Edgy as hell. He's like, Naruto, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Anyways, I'm having too much fun with this right now. Oh no! <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Can you feel it? He might actually be on bath salts. Uh... I'm really feeling it, freaking Shulk, bro. Can you feel the feeling of manliness? No, I feel the feeling of cringe in an edgelord. Found your own school. Ha! Mm. So shallow. How can a manly man aspire to something so lame? <clears throat> so, so lame. He just has to add ah, to everything. Uh, please, <laughs> spare me. Spare me. I, I can't feel the... Manliness. I can't even feel the cold anymore. Wow. I, I <laughs> yeah, I meanwhile, she's smiling. I'm gonna die. Yohei. Yohei. Save me. Why does she look so happy about this? Did you hear that? All the nonsense aside, he's going for help. Yeah, he is. Huh? Who? Who goes there? It is I, Traveler, from thy, uh, uh Mon-Stadith, uh, yeah, the... Yes. No, don't come any closer. Stay back. Help. We're not gonna let you get whooped. Miku, 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 something! Hi, Mon, why are you scared? Oh, poor thing. Oh, boy. Yohei, your brother's life is hanging in the balance, and he's using his final breaths to call on you for help. Whatever shall we do? Throw some salt at him. 
Get the tofu. Uh, I... Well, how, how should I know? The way it looks to me is that Shingo feels terribly resentful to you about something. Would you mind telling me what that's all about? Mm. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Do you? Do you, you don't not? know. But surely you should have more insight than anyone else into how your brother came to be this way? Yeah. Yohei, I suggest you think very carefully before you open your mouth again. This is a life or death situation. In other words, stop capping. Oh, damn. Uh, um, Tell the um, truth. Tell the truth. Uh, uh, um, your brother is your closest relative. You must have noticed straight away when he started acting out of character. Mm -hmm. And yet, five whole days pass before it occurs to you to come and seek help from me. You really expect me not to notice the gaping holes in your story? Man, she's staring into my soul right now, but she looking good. But, uh, I... Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, you're breaking down. As you wish. It's fine by me if you don't want to tell the truth. But after Shingo dies, you'll be next. Mm. It's futile trying to escape. Anywhere in the world you run to, it will be right behind your back. After all, you did summon it together. Oh, she knows. Ah! Tell the truth. All right, Let's I'll do talk. It. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. My brother and I used a wishing incantation. Mm -hmm. Made a wish. Yeah, from a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Yes, yes, that's it. The one that's all the rage right now. You just have to recite an incantation at midnight, and your wish will be granted. Well, comes with a price, doesn't it? Just like the book described, we drew the magic symbol, stepped inside it barefoot at midnight, said the incantation, and lo and behold, spheres of light appeared all around us. What an idiot. After my brother wished to become a swordmaster, it really worked. Out of nowhere, he suddenly had these amazing sword skills. But his whole personality changed, too. And why didn't you seek help right away? Because... I was worried that if he goes back to normal, he'll lose his skills with the sword. And you are more worried about that than the health of your brother? If that happens, it'd ruin our plans to start a martial arts school, and we'd be back to being poor. I just wanted to keep this under wraps until we'd managed to get the dojo set up and paid off our debts. Mm. So then, why'd you go to the Grand Narukami Shrine? Well, because with the way he's acting now, I was worried that rumors might start spreading that he's gotten involved in the occult arts or something. And then no one would want to sign up as his disciple. Mm. So I was thinking that maybe Lady Guji might have a way to get my brother back to normal, but let him keep his sword skills. Yeah. My, look at you with your ingenious schemes. Trying to scheme over here. You can't scheme around Yai. She figures everything out. She's too damn smart for that. Stop deluding yourself. These newfound sword skills are not his. They belong to the spirit that has possessed him. Mm-hmm. And the spirit hates tofu. You're right. You're right. We were wrong to do what we did. We had this coming. Yeah, you definitely did, idiot. All right then. I mean, I know I understand why you did it. You needed the money, but still, idiot. Toss the salt and then draw your sword. Toss the tofu. Hello there. Oh damn. The salt really did work. What is that? I thought you were kidding. The salt works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. That's what you summoned. And look, now that Shingo's no use, it's coming straight for you. Oh no. What are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My guy fainted. Okay, well, we take care of it. We do nothing. Really? But you, little one, just a quick fight, and this will all be over. Oh, so yeah, I got to fight. Okay. <laughs> Who's this? Ah, a fellow swordmaster. <laughs> okay. Come on. Fight me. You're about to get body, dude. I ain't worried about it. Be careful. Man, please. You act like we haven't fought way worse. You know, you know who we fought? Like seriously. Buddy about to die in like two Okay, well if I could hit my attack so die in a few seconds. Damn, what the hell is that? 
Listen, my guy. Don't make me look stupid. Here, eat a meteor. Here, take this. Take this. Go night night. You're dead. Alright, thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I haven't felt this great in a long, long time. He disappeared at, like when the pillar disappeared. That was like really good timing. <laughs> he disappeared, but he looked pretty content at the end there. Mm. Huh. Well, Paimon sure is confused. Do you know what that was all about? A uh, rough idea. Ah, uh -uh. we can talk about it later. They're about to wake up. <coughs> what am I doing here? Yohei? Yohei, is that you? Shingo, are you alright? Yohei, I had the weirdest dream. I dreamed that I wasn't a useless loser with a sword anymore. I even beat one of Dolmon's disciples. <laughs> it wasn't a dream. I thought we could finally open a dojo of our own now. But then I realized I couldn't control my own body. And there was this voice in my ear talking to me constantly. I was terrified and I wanted to take control of my body back, but I couldn't. And the voice kept talking about manliness. <laughs> yeah, that is so funny. That is so dumb. The Jingo, manliness line. He shouldn't have made that wish. We summoned a spirit and it possessed you. Oh my. Yes. And had we not come to your rescue, your life would have been over before too much longer. Then the spirit would have haunted your brother until he died of fatigue too. Yeah, so you're welcome. Thank you, Lady Guji. And thank you for your assistance, exorcism experts. Yes, we are experts. All right, 100%. take him to get some rest. He's very weak right now, having been possessed for quite a few days. He will experience a high fever, but it won't be fatal. Remember, this is the price you pay. Yeah, you play with fire, you get burnt. At this point, I would normally play stupid games, get stupid prizes. Of using yeah. occult methods to obtain mm. power that does not belong to you. But I think you get the picture now. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, we understand now. We won't do it ever again. Whatever you say. Thank you, Lady Guji. Thank you, Exorcists. You're welcome. We'll be on our way then. Come on, Shingo. Come on, Shingo. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Get on. Miko, would they really have lost their lives if we hadn't gotten involved? And if so, why the heck were you so reluctant to help out? Did you just want them to learn their lesson? Oh, <laughs> they would have been fine. Uh, I had to scare them a little, though. Otherwise, I hardly think these two lazy rascals would have learned their lesson. Well, there you have it. So, what was it that possessed Chingo? You saw it all for yourselves. I'm sure you can figure out what kind of spirit had possessed him, can't you? Uh... A master of the sword. Paimon's got it! It was an Oni! Oh my god. Correct. Although it possessed Chingo, it didn't have any ill intentions. As a matter of fact, it actually seemed like it was trying to train Chingo to become bolder. Huh. Fair enough. But it seems like it had the opposite effect. Most definitely. Tossing salt caused it to temporarily leave Shingo's body. Then you exhausted its strength by fighting it, so it disappeared. Easy. But even if we'd done nothing at all, Shingo would have eventually become too weak for his body to host the spirit, and it would have left of its own accord. No, well, at least it wouldn't have killed him, but he wouldn't have learned his lesson. Of course. It would have been more stressful for Shingo and Yohei that way. <laughs> <laughs> Still, the experience may ultimately have been more effective than me scaring them into submission with a little exaggeration. Yeah. Whew. Well, the main thing is that nobody got hurt. Pretty much, yeah. All right. Seems like we've wrapped up everything here. Come on, off we go. Yep. Oh, we out of you here. Know, you say everything's wrapped up, but are you sure about that? I mean, there was other people that did the wish. Mm -hmm. You mean you disagree? The book. Oh, you mean that they got the incantation from that book. Yes, I know the one. We gonna burn the book? Actually, that book's the whole reason we came looking for you at the shrine today. 
incantations seem really popular right now. I mean, who's in charge of making these stupid books? Human beings don't have powers like us yokai. It's quite understandable for them to be interested in incantations to summon the supernatural. Right. That's not the point. The problem is that the incantations in the book are actually capable of summoning spirits and stuff. And loads of people are trying it. Very dangerous. <sighs> Even then, humans only have so much strength. Even if they do successfully summon a spirit with the incantation, it won't stay with them for very long. I really wouldn't fret about it. She's saying she don't give a damn, man. Who wrote this book? And why? Don't you think there might be a bigger safety risk? She's like, nah, I just want to end the quest already. I'm done. <laughs> what do you think, traveler? Um, Miko says it's fine. Probably don't worry about it. I'm more curious about Miko's reaction. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more curious what Miko's reaction. Big events in the light novel market should be at the center of her attention, surely. But she doesn't seem to care about this book at all. Yeah, that is true. <gasps> Lady Yai, I finally found you. Kuroda, what are you doing here? I'm here to report on Yai Publishing House's sales for the last month. All the numbers are here. Please take a look. Mm -hmm. Let me see. What? We're losing market share? She said, what? <laughs> Sound like Bayonetta for a second. Yes. Overall bestseller, reader's favorite, and trending ranking. We're being beaten in all categories. Damn. One book is topping the charts. It's called A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Watch her care about this now. She's gonna be like, we need to burn them. Both of you, back here now. Oh, oh, now you care because your sales. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, now you care. Well, because now her money being messed with, now she cares. Really? <laughs> Things just got serious. A first-hand guide to summoning spirits is an all-round hit, summarily beating the novels of the Yai Publishing House by every analysis. That sounds like a you problem, not a not a us problem. Just what is that supposed to mean? I worked extremely hard to promote our latest featured work. And now a rival book comes out of nowhere and steals our thunder. If this isn't the very definition of intolerable, I don't know what is. That's a you problem, not an us problem once again. In this situation, you tell us, go deal with it yourself. You got this, not our problem. <laughs> I have to come up with a counter plan. And you are going to help me. Are we? Are we? <laughs> I'm with Paimon on this one. How is this our problem? <laughs> Honestly. Paimon, please. Who wrote this book and why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? Oh, now you wanna, now you wanna say what we've been saying the whole time. Okay. <sighs> Am I to take it that the safety of the people of Inazuma isn't so important in your eyes after you all? You just care about your money. We're both looking at each other like this lady is being serious right now. She's a master manipulator. Gaslighting piece of crap. Nothing's wrong, okay? Come on. We're going to war. To war? <laughs> what is happening I'm going anymore? to head back and make some preparations. Meet me outside the Yai Publishing House. This is wrong on so many levels. This is actually wrong on so many damn levels, guys. Yai Miko is a master manipulator in this game. She's probably one of the best manipulators in this game. Damn menace. She'll seduce you. And then she got you doing crap that you wanted to do in the first place. But she she just mixes it up. So that way you're really doing something for her. <laughs> Jesus, dude. May the Lord help us today. <laughs> and to Yai Publishing House, we go. We are on the move. Is now Yai wanna care all of a sudden? <laughs> Good lord, this lady has no shame whatsoever, dude. Like none at all. She does not care. Alright, Nico, we're here. So what's your plan of action to deal with this rival book? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Why don't you take a guess? We're gonna kill him. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it's to do with the Yai publishing house. You're gonna start selling the books here. I don't know. Of the Yai Publishing House with the 
Princess of Guji Yai and tell everyone that the incantations in that book are dangerous. I mean, that's a good idea. Oh, wow. Your first guess and you got it absolutely wrong. Wrong. Yep. I'm just looking at Paimon. The hell, Paimon. Uh, wait. Seriously? That wasn't it? No, it was not it. A first-hand guide to summoning spirits is the hottest light novel right now. If we did as you suggested, we would effectively be advertising to everyone that the incantations are real. True. True and real. In bending over backwards trying to warn everyone about the dangers, all we would accomplish is to create more curious readers ready to try them out. Also, sales for the book would only increase further. True, you tell people not to do something. What do they want to do? Do it. Okay, yeah, that would be pretty catastrophic. <sighs> oh, how about we confiscate all the copies? We find the author and we beat him to a bloody pulp. <sighs> Leaving aside the issue of the enormous manpower and resources such an operation would require, going to such lengths over a light novel would be extremely disruptive to the lives of Inazumans. Hmm. But that means there's nothing we can do. Well, we're pretty after enough. Well, I've been thinking. Okay. I've read a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. It has many other good qualities besides the incantations alone. Such as? The book contains many ancient kaiden, or tales of the supernatural, and is written in a very engaging way. That is why the book has become so popular. Okay. Hmm. I think we're going to have a difficult time trying to rein in its popularity while it's the only work in its league on the market. You're gonna make your own book like this? That's right. How do you get rid of the next big thing? Oh boy. You replace it with the next next big thing. Here we go. So what we're going to do is create Inazuma's newest hit novel. Do we get paid for this? Smash any our chance? rival sales numbers and win our readers back. That is how Yaimiko wages war. Okay. Incidentally, this will also be the best way to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Mm -hmm. Wait. Miko, so you want us to write a novel? Uh, can I really do that? <laughs> well, becoming an accomplished novelist certainly isn't an I mean, I, you know, process. I wrote a book but back in like third grade. I am the chief it even got laminated and everything. House. I have it somewhere have in my room. My I'd have to find it, but true story. Back in the day. I did say this is what we're going to do. I trust that the word teamwork is in your vocabulary. Is it in your vocabulary? <laughs> also, when I say back in the day, listen, I'm not like 30 or something chat, okay? Because it seems like for some reason people be thinking I'm like 34. Dude, I'm not 30. I'm 20. Two. Zero. Okay. Let's just, let's just get that straight. I know the beard, but like, Jesus, anyway, I've had people been saying that to me, dude. There's a event going on at the moment. Lord. Start by talking to readers and finding out what they're into. When you have an idea of what the current trends are, come back and see me. They like TikTok dances, uh, I'll yeah. Uyu Uyu Restaurant. Find me there when you're done. I will assemble a team, and we can work while we eat. Okay, if you say so. Well, we're on the case. It's time to go find out what the reader's like. They're gonna say some damn hentai or something, bro. <laughs> That's what they're about to say. That's where this route's gonna go. Alright, hey, what do you like? You, woman. The Yai Publishing House has held many writer submission events to date. Yes. The winner gets a huge amount of publicity. It's been the ticket to fame for a lot of authors. If you've got a good idea for a story, you definitely don't want to miss out. Okay. Hey, you. I've been reading light novels for a long time now. I'm mainly into big, ambitious fantasy works with an original core concept and good storytelling. Yeah, my guy. These days, though, everyone seems to be imitating each other. Most of the time, I can guess what the story is about just from the title. Don't lie to me. You watched some damn high school DxD, didn't you? The only recent you were reading that manga? Is a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Uh-huh. Yeah, you lying to me. Not only is it a good story, but the descriptions are really true to life. So much so that I'm almost wondering if maybe the author really has met all those yokai before. Hmm. Okay, buddy. How about you? 
I bet you watch some damn Boko no Pico or something. Damn freak. The key to a successful light novel is having good illustrations. Uh huh. When to use illustrations, what they should contain, and which artists you should commission for them. These okay. are all key things to bear in mind. All right, all right. Good illustrations can make up for bad writing. But on the flip side, a bad illustration can ruin your novel, even if you have the best story in the world. There's a saying that light novels are essentially a case of buy art, get words free. Mm -hmm. I'd agree with that. Too bad most of the top artists have jam-packed schedules, so it's extremely difficult to commission them. Unfortunate. The illustrations in A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits are incredible, but it's unlike any art style I've ever seen before. Okay. And then, what about you? What do you like? Were you talking to the ladies over here? Okay, I see you. I'll be honest. I read light novels for the cheap thrills. Ah, uh, that doesn't surprise me. In most traditional stories, the protagonist usually has this long and drawn-out character arc, usually involving a process of separation, loss, and ultimately growth and renewed strength. Sounds like Naruto. And everything. <laughs> it's just a little slow-paced for me. Listen. I, don't get me wrong, I love base Naruto, but sometimes I'm like, this is dragging on, Lord help me. Listen, I even have a Kakashi shirt on right now, if you don't believe me, look. <laughs> See this thing? Got a damn Kakashi shirt on. So, don't don't get me wrong, I do love Naruto though. The good lord, sometimes. By contrast, there's you know, this freaking fight dragging out for like eight episodes. A first -hand guide freaking Orochimaru. Spirits, good lord. Where the protagonist is super strong, right from the get-go. That's what I mean by cheap thrills. Oh, so you like some One Punch Man type stuff? I never watch One Punch Man, but I'm just under the impression that since his name is One Punch Man, that he'd be strong as hell right off the bat. The protagonist is a kitsune Maybe. who has not only mastered the secret art of incantations, but also tea ceremony, painting, and calligraphy. Calligraphy. Okay. Thanks for the information. I know you like One Punch Man, though. Maybe he likes watching that anime. What is that? Baki or whatever it's called? I don't know if that's what it's called. It's like a fighting anime where this dude is like juiced up as hell and he's just beating the hell out of everybody. I don't know. He's pretty overpowered. Anyways. I might. I, that might be what it's called. I don't know. Who the hell knows? Yo, yeah, you got dinner for me? There you are. Let me introduce the team. Okay. You've already met Junkichi and Shigeru. Of course. Shigeru is an experienced editor, and Junkichi is the author he's partnered with. Junkichi's working through a creative lull at the moment, but all his past works have been very popular with young people. He's developed okay. a distinct and enduringly popular style. Popular with the Zoomers? Satomi is Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. Her specialty is that she can write all kinds of completely different stories and all under different pen names. As for what those names are... That's a trade secret. Okay. Milady. They will be teaming up with us to collectively create the novel that knocks a first hand guide to summoning spirits off its perch. So, feeling better about my plan now? Of course. Uh huh. It definitely makes sense. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now then, tell me what you found out about readers' preferences. For sure, gotcha. You tell Yaimiko the reader's thoughts. Hmm, all very true. An original core concept, a fast pace, quality illustrations, and lots of action. This is the formula that will guarantee good sales numbers. Mm-hmm. More importantly than that, even though it's a work of fiction, we have to deliver a sense of realism. Makes sense, yes. Paimon followed pretty much all of that, but there's still one question. What are we actually going to write about? Great question. For example, we know we need an original core concept, but how do we come up with one? <laughs> Before you can answer that question, you have to understand your target audience. Well, aren't we going for everybody? <laughs> Take a first-hand guide to summoning spirits, for example. When I read it, all I find is common knowledge to the kitsune, but to the general public, it's bursting with new and interesting ideas. It all comes down to the size of the information gap between author and reader. Mm -hmm. As a traveler, there must be a great many things you know that are complete unknowns to the people of Inazuma. 
what is commonplace to you may be fresh and original to them. <laughs> Why we look so just like dank? Just what, what's going on? Oh, right. Zoom in. So maybe we can take inspiration from our time in Mondstadt and Lilith. Maybe, maybe. Mm, but that would make it a completely different genre than a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Uh, is that gonna be a problem? Not at all. You don't have to worry so much about how to compete with that book. All you mm. have to do is provide some interesting ideas based on your travel experiences. You better get paid for this. As long as the core content is interesting, my expert team here will be able to flesh out the details. They'll make it into summoning demons somehow. Alright, let's start with chapter one then. Oh boy, we can tell our whole life story. The Workshire Bard reincarnated in another world encounters with airborne emergency rations. I'm sorry, I had to go for it. Hmm. Out of a maximum of ten points, I'd give that a nine. People love it, see? Wow. Is there really flying emergency food in other worlds? How does it taste? And how do you cook it? Oh. I'm <laughs> We get timeline killed one of these days. It's a strong opening, an easy way to grab the reader's attention. Do Never that. underestimate the appeal See, of culinary oriented subject you matter. Underestimated my ability. That everyone is Don't make that mistake in. again. That's actually hilarious, dude. What the hell? Hmm. Good job, little one. You're not only drawing on your own experiences, but it seems you're filtering them through the lens of the kinds of light novels you've read in the past. I think you really understand what we're trying to do here. Of course I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thoughts from the experts? Are we able to work with this general framework to make an interesting story? I can't believe we're going through with this, but you know, I... Yeah, we think it works. I tend to overcomplicate the core concept if I'm not careful, so this deals with that problem. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. That's good. Hell yeah. Okay, we're done with chapter one. Let's move on to chapter two. Let us huh? commence. Won't that do for now? Readers will devour your content a lot more quickly than you'd think. If we don't keep delivering the goods now we've caught their attention, all our hard work so far is in vain. Fair enough. Hurry, chapter two. Let's go. Can't you see that Satomi is waiting? All right, I got you. What's wrong with you? You don't look uh, so good. Uh, my mind's gone blank. I used it all on the reincarnated story. <laughs> What a pity. I thought your beginner's luck would carry you a little further before it came to this. But alas, the time has come prematurely. Sorry, but you went on what you want to what? What's happened? The We're on writer's block? Resistance. Writer's block. See? I know about writer's block. I know about writer's block. You see that? You see that? <laughs> see? I'm smart. Big brain. Big brain. I'm so proud of myself. souls just to get their muse back. Hmm. I know about writer's block. When this happens, the best thing you can do is have a bite to eat and take a proper break. Hell yeah. <clears throat> so what you're saying is we going on a date. Get fried tofu and get some kushikatsu for these two. Just the basic kind will do. So we going on a date. Wonderful. He's like, don't look worry. At, look at this. Well, I, I, damn, I should have paused it for a sec. My guy was like, okay. Your treat. Oh, you paying? Hell yeah. the hard work we're doing right right of course everyone oh, okay. who takes part in the creative process will be paid how much all right cool then let's press on shall we don't give up now for the sake of our paycheck get your brain going okay freaking calm down speaking of mora hmm ooh, ooh. does this mean your inspirations come back i turned to geovich i turned into a geovich hatchling oh my god Took a trip to Liyue to where a guy turned out to be Rex Lapis. Rock and roll girl. What if we go with the Rex Lapis one? Let's see now. The protagonist arrives in Liyue and befriends a young man who doesn't have the money to pay for anything. Broke ass song, Do we find out that this young man is none other than Rex Lapis himself? We might be telling too much information with this, but you know, they won't believe it. With the help of 
the teaching and the protection of the Adepti, I am free to roam this vast realm. <laughs> yes, mm. I love it. Is this the kind of cheap thrill that that guy was talking about? Maybe. Mm. I give it a 9.8. Why not a 10? The story is fun and action-packed with no dark undertones. Also, there are a great many legends about Rex Lapis. I'm sure it will spark the people's curiosity. Yeah, they're gonna eat that story up. They're gonna love it. I, for Alien. one, think there's a sizable market for this. Approved. Magnificent. All I right. like that. Well, let's just hope Zhang Li doesn't mind. Shut up, Paimon. Well, now <laughs> Satomi can get started on that. Well, you probably know, already know Zhang Li's Rex Lapis, Leave don't you? Me, I don't remember if you know. You probably do. It don't matter. Well, the rest of the people in here just heard it because you speaking so crazy. Let's write about Irasuma in the third chapter, shall we? I can help with this one. We can use the Vision Hunt decree or your experience in the Resistance. Any ideas? Stuff this. Come on, let's get rid of this Vision decree. Farewell, literature, literature Hunt decree. Starting as a Resistance soldier. How about that? Being the soldier. Hakomi. When the Vision Hunt decree comes out of nowhere. The protagonist joins the resistance, starting out as an ordinary rank and file soldier. Didn't Teppy die? It wasn't his name Teppy. Rest in peace, the homie Teppy. You know he was he was a real one. How the protagonist goes on to make great contributions to the war effort, become best friends with the resistance general, and get to know the Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine. Working Hell yeah. together with everyone to finally secure a grand victory for the resistance. Yes, I love it. I absolutely love it. Huh. It's good stuff. Surprisingly normal. Yes. I think it's rather good. A lot of people still like the classic hero's journey. From ordinary soldier to great leader, a fresh You see, take on we have something in there for everybody. You got the, you know, the, the fast-paced story. You got the normal story. You know, we, 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 we mix it up a little bit. You know? One thing, though. We'll need to rewrite the part about me giving you the Omamori. Yes, we'll have to put somebody else. Let's change it to... The mysterious Lady Kitsune teaches the protagonist a spell that can make their wishes come true. Mm. The protagonist uses this spell to defeat the Raiden Shogun in battle. That should do the trick. Hell yeah. Oh, You're a genius. Really going head to head with our rival on this one, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I suppose so. Once they're done writing the manuscript, I'll write the passage where the protagonist recites the incantation myself. Sounds good. Are we done then? Do you really think this will be able to beat a first-hand guide to summoning spirits? It's worth a try. The content is fine. Now we just need to promote it. Ah. I will contact an artist to make some illustrations. I'm positive they will be at least as good as those in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. We'll also need an endorsement on a paper band around the book. I can get the wonderful Ms. Hina to write that. Uh -huh. She runs a regular Q&A column in That's Life magazine. The people of Inazuma absolutely adore her. Miss Hina? Isn't, isn't that what they call Goro? I'm, I'm just gonna look that up real quick, guys. Miss, Miss Hina Genshin, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's that's definitely Goro. Yeah, yeah. You see, I had to make sure, but yeah, if you take a good look, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that that's Goro. That's female Goro. <laughs> well, it looks like I was right. I was right. Anyways, you're free to take a break while the creative team is doing their work, but please go by the Yai Publishing House at some point to commission Ms. Hina for that recommendation. Yes, Once of our course. Once our novel is complete. Let's meet at the writer's submission event. Miss Hina, you say? Whatever you say, yes. Please, whatever, please. whatever you say. We're just gonna stare into each other's souls right now. Let me sit down, shall I? And she's staring at me, oh my god. He's like right behind me. Okay, screenshot. Anyways, I'm out of here. I'll see you later. I don't think I've ever been in this building before. This is completely new, huh? Anyways. Let's complete this endorsement. Geronimo. Here do we go? Why did I say Geronimo when I wasn't jumping? That, that, that was very genius for me, wasn't it? Very smart, very smart.
Bum, bum, bum. Boom, boom. Bum, bum, bum. All right, hello. How do you do? Miss <clears throat> doesn't usually do endorsements, but since it's Lady Guji that's asking, we'll see what we can do. Hell yeah. Is Hina getting so popular lately? A lot of people have come to us hoping to do a collaboration. I bet. But Miss Hina's not interested in any of it. She still prefers to focus all her efforts on replying to readers' letters and turns down every promotional opportunity she can. Mm. Maybe that's why her fans like her so much. <laughs> I, I'm getting off topic here. Anyway, if we can get that endorsement from Miss Hina, you'll definitely get an exposure boost at the beginning. Of course. May your light novel sell well and set a new record for the Yai Publishing House. Hell yeah. We'll do our best. Hell yeah. Oh boy. Go submit the manuscript. Oh, up we go. Let's hope that Miss Hina, you know, helps us out, right? <laughs> Hello. How do you do? Yamiko brings the completed Are light you sure novel. Would like to submit this entry? Let me see. The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler by Thousand Hands. What a strange pen name. Definitely your doing. Having been around you so much recently, Paimon slowly starting to understand your unique tastes. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, strange? It took a lot of work by a lot of different people to get this thing finished. Don't you think it's a very descriptive pen name? We'll hmm. get this printed as a matter of priority and conduct trial sales and pilot locations throughout Inazuma. I'll announce the sales numbers in three days. Damn, uh -oh. three days. Paimon's getting a little nervous now. Do you really think this is gonna work? Listen, we had a top, top notch, cream of the crop team. Don't That's worry about right. it. right. Be confident in your work. That's exactly how a light novelist should be. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, then I'll sign you up. Please come back in three days for the results. Okay. Thank you all for your submission. I wish you the very best of luck. Yeah, you sound like a robot right now. Thank you. Wait three days. How the, how the hell you do that? It legit just says wait three days. Do I need to just turn the clock three times? Are they serious? There's no way they're going to make me turn this thing three times. Genshin, if this is what we're doing, this is actually hilarious. That you're gonna make me sit through this three times. There ain't no damn way. Owen. Watch it. Okay, wait, no, it just it still just says wait three days. Oh. Uh, really? Excuse me? What if I do it again? Flip it again. Watch me just need to talk to somebody. That's so weird. I've never say, seen the game say wait three days for something. It's usually just wait till the next day. How about that? Does that count as a day? Oh, it definitely did count as a day. Ah, you've all finally made it. It was only like two days. I mean, one day, I don't know, something. Good news, everyone. I just received word that your light novel is flying off the shelves. Multiple sales locations are asking when we'll be printing more copies. Hell yeah. <laughs> Making their money. This what I like to hear. Hands look like sound like the freaking sandpaper, dude. Jesus. Most new books don't sell thirty percent of what you've sold. Well, you see, we know how to pull in an audience. You understand? <laughs> I have free copies for Get each of you. Get the expertise. Them. The payment will follow shortly, and I'll notify you to come and collect it when the time comes. This is great. All great, oh, but yeah. uh. The whole reason why we made this light novel was to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning. Did we fail? Hmm. We sold a lot of copies, but it doesn't feel like we accomplished our goal. How do we know whether it worked? <laughs> oh, don't worry. The change is already underway. How do you know? Shh. Listen to what the people around us are talking about. The conversation has already moved on, hasn't it? You got some good ears. Hey guys, have you heard about this latest Kaidan thing doing the rounds? You just need to recite the incantation from a first-hand guide to summoning spirits at midnight, and your wish will come true. Oh, that? <laughs> That's a throwback. That's old news, man. Mm. No one's talking about that anymore. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune is the new hit thing. I've already memorized all the incantations. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune? What's that? What's that, bro? You Ever heard of that? that? 
Okay, so supposedly, if you recite the spell in there on a moonless night, you'll receive protection of the Kitsune and all the other powerful yokai. They can make any of your wishes come true. I heard that the incantations in a first-hand guide to summoning spirits have weird side effects. This one guy wished for a load of mora and got it, but then one night it all turned to leaves and he developed a high fever. Mm. They actually had to use one of the secret spells of Lady Kitsune to get rid of the discomfort. Oh my. That proves that the incantations in this book are more potent than the ones everyone was trying before. Pretty much everyone I know is desperate to try it out. Just waiting for a moonless night. Really? Well, I better go and prepare too. <laughs> yeah, Miko is so proud of herself right now. Feeling less worried now? Yeah. Wow, you're right. Everyone's shifting focus. Pretty much. What's this moonless night that doing that? they're talking about? Like all she has to do is that like, cringe lip bite, and then there you go, <laughs> cringe Paimon or the. Paimon doesn't remember that detail from the brainstorming session. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is something that will become very important to us further down the line. All right, it's time to move on to the next phase of the plan. We have another, and we have another phase of the plan. Huh? There's a phase two. What? Of course. Behind every book that hits the market lies an author, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. If we leave him to his own devices, he might just write another guide to summoning spirits. So now we're gonna actually go beat the author to a bloody pulp. Also, Exactly. That's what we need to take care of next. Fortunately, I've already managed to identify the author. He's a failed light novelist named Tomoyuki. Mm. But when we went to ask him about it, he had no recollection whatsoever of having written the book. Was he possessed? Yes. This is another case of possession. Only this time, whoever possessed him actively sought him out. After his novel submission failed, he was walking aimlessly in Araumi. In frustration, he shouted out, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. After that, he lost consciousness. But the spirit that wrote the book has already left him now, right? So what are we supposed to do? Simple. It wrote a summoning incantation in the book, didn't it? So we can just use its own method to make it manifest itself. Mm. And you, my little friend, are the perfect candidate for this role. <laughs> But this sounds very dubious. Oh, what are you talking about? The fun's just about to begin. She's a demon. Demon, I said. She's a menace. She's bad as hell, but she a menace. That's what happens. You find a girl that's like that, seductive as hell, but she always evil. She got some motives. <laughs> you teasing too damn much. Got us messing with these damn demons, bro. Ay, ay, ay. Well, let's just get it over with. We've we, we've dealt with it once before. We should be fine again. What's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah. Could possibly go wrong. I'm here. Hello. Yai. Miko, what is this place? A uh, bootleg domain. <laughs> the ideal spot for a little meet and greet with a certain elusive author. This is the place where we are most likely to succeed in summoning the spirit. Okay. Really? But it feels so eerie here. Well, because the spirit's in there. <laughs> that seems rather fitting, considering that we are dealing with the spirits of the deceased here. What are you so afraid of, honestly? We're finally about to meet the true author of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Aren't you excited? Dying with excitement. Paimon's yes. Paimon, we're gonna be fine. We're not gonna die. Okay, we dealt with this before. It's another. It's another <laughs> Come on, stupid freaking spirit that's going to get bodied by us or well, by me. You're not gonna do anything, but you know. Hey, wait up. <laughs> Listen, calm down. Paimon, we're gonna be fine. Please, please. Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Paimon. Let's go, the oh boy. You've got nothing to be worried about, Paimon. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna get the ghost, get him out of there real quick, and that'll be that. All right. What a weird painting, Miko. Uh. Do you know what it's supposed to 
show? Hmm. Probably a scene from ancient Inazuma. Interesting. It's a good piece of artwork and all, but it's also kind of eerie. So it's a bit scary. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like the artist signed their name. Um, Rakusai? Hmm. It's not very clear. Let's go inside and take a look. Oh boy. Let's have a, f a fun time. I would say blast and fun, and I try to say them both at the same time. Huh. Good English. Ah, yes. Yai Miko time. Let's do it. Let's get down to Level 90 Yai Miko, baby. Emerge. Here. Right here. Take these things. Oh. I don't even know how to use Yai yet. I have to watch that video. You know how they have the videos that show you how to use a Genshin character that Genshin posts himself? That um, Yuri Lowenthal, aka Dainsworth, voices? Yeah. I haven't watched that yet. Probably should do that. Be a good idea. Alright. Let's keep her going. Oh, five primos. Hail you. It is a mirror. Ah, I see. Huh. This setup is quite handy. Saves me a lot of work. All right, go and take a look around. There should be a mechanism somewhere that makes the whole room move. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gee, I wasn't trying to go down. I was not trying to go down here, but okay. I guess. If you insist. I'm over here trying to figure out how to use the eye properly. Okay, I see a mechanism here. Activate the lamps using Electro. Lamp number one has been activated. Okay. What the hell's back here? This place just goes all over the place. Uh, am I supposed to open something up? Am I supposed to be over here? I am. And then what, push this back? I've dealt with these puzzles before. Hello, gentlemen. Oh my god, that alt looks so good. Gentlemen, don't mind me as I hit you with my Mickey Mouse wand real quick. Okay. I'm trying to give Yai some screen time, so if you could just kind of just stay out of the way. Okay. This will definitely take some time to get used to, but I will get used to it. All right, uh, G. Okay, that electricity is just going off, huh? All right, where am I going? That's the question at this point, right? What the hell? I came over here. Can't open up any door. Nothing there. I guess I just came over here to body them. Wait, no. This open up? Bingo. Yeah, because there's nothing over here, right? Oh god, chat. I low key forgot where I came from. It, it had to have been from over here. I walked over here. These puzzles, these ones specifically start getting a little confusing. But do not fret, do not fear. I'm great at these, 100%. Ah, I see that, genius, you see? I know what I was doing. All right, I need to activate these things with electricity though. So like you right here, yeah, 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 what the hell are we aiming at, girl? <laughs> We're good, man. That's two. That's three. Okay, we're missing one. It's right here, but I need to get the mechanism to move, right? That's what we're missing. Order, get this media in here somehow. Get the Mickey Mouse wand, keep doing what you're doing. All right, shouldn't there be a mechanism around here somewhere? Oh, hello, gentlemen. Do not mind me. I am here only for a second. Okay, uh, Yai? Okay, I'm supposed to switch to Yai. Jeez. <laughs> I'm not used to playing with five characters. We were scuffing this. I was just trying to give Yai the buffs that she needed so she could do, like, some really optimal damage. There we go. Keep doing what you're doing, yeah. You're doing great. You're doing great. This is order. 
order this is. Shogun and Baba -ba Boy. You still alive? Really? The hell were you doing a live stream? And then the mechanisms right there. Easy clap, easy clap. We're good. This will bring us up. I'll activate the electricity, and then we'll be looking damn good. All right, so we're we're perfectly fine now. So I guess I'm going back up this way. Let the air guide me. Let the wind guide me. What character says that? Like Kazuha or something? I'm I'm on the way. Oh hi. <laughs> You weren't supposed to be here. There is no escape. Do not mind me. I am here right now. to body right you. Here. Get away from me. Oh my god. Jesus. Get away. Come on. There we go. Thanks for the five primos. Okay, never mind. That was two. But now I feel stupid for saying that one liner to you. Not even as cool now for the fact that it was two. Oh god. This brings me back here. Uh, move that. Oh lord. Don't worry. I, I, I know where I'm going, obviously. How the hell did I make it back? Uh, this path is blocked. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, all these paths are like blocked. I think I gotta go back down where the air was. I'm a genius, as you could tell. Very, very smart, big brain. Cream of the cut up. Alright, bring me down over here. Oh, I haven't been over here before. Hello, gentlemen. It's your lucky day to die. <laughs> That's what your lucky day is. It really ain't that damn lucky. Right now. All right, cool. Boom. We finally made it. Whoa. The painting we just saw. It's turning this way along with the whole wall. It just scooby dude. It's getting eerier and scarier. What is this place? Calm down, Paimon. We are going to be okay. Okay. Next, I will show you a secret Kitsune spell. This painting is a swift summoning medium. Which means I'll be able to skip many of the more tedious steps. Okay. The murky mirror reflects the view of Inazuma in a bygone age. Spirits stirred by the sight of the past will be easily drawn to it. Okay. Sounds uh, good to me. Let's do it. You're up next, little one. Come on, sit yourself down here. What could possibly go wrong with something like this? Nothing, yes. right? Hold on, are we? The whole <laughs> point of the summoning ritual is for a dead person's spirit to possess a living person's body. You're not gonna let it take my body, right? Right? You saw what happened to that Oni Samurai spirit. After leaving the host's body, he was only able to maintain his form for a very short time before disappearing. Mm -hmm. Are we positive that summoning a spirit to possess the Traveler isn't gonna have any lasting negative consequences? Mm. Oh, you really care about the little one quite a lot, don't you? Hmm, I'm a little jealous. I wish my friends were caring like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, buddy. Anyway, are you scared, little friend? Don't you worry now. It'll be over soon. Just think of it like having a dream. Can't believe we're agreeing to this. What do I need to do? Sit on the chair, stare at the painting, and relax your body and mind. Try and be natural. There's really no need to be nervous. Yeah, okay. If you say so. Here we go with this crap. I'm like thinking. Sitting inside the painting. Yeah, that's actually pretty sick. Huh? I'm thinking about Lumine reuniting. I mind you ruining the moment. Oh no, bro. Recite the incantation in your heart, little one. Also, you'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your intense head. thoughts. A uh, wish, losing a Genshin 50/50. Yes. Now, what kind of wish do we think it would take to summon forth the author of? 
a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. I will win all the 50-50s and 10 pulls, and one 10 pull every time. Um, probably something to do with writing? Very good. The wish needs to be heartfelt, though, so let me help add a little realism to the equation. The book is selling exceptionally well, Traveler, but we're going to need an outline for Chapter 4 as soon as humanly possible. When is the earliest that you can turn it in by? Ah, uh, please someone, anyone! The painting is moving again! What the- You have to just start screaming. <laughs> uh... Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh... Are we getting thrown into like a, a nightmare? Oh, this is about to be really disturbing. <laughs> I never thought the day would come when I'd be summoned using my own ritual. <sighs> getting a taste of my own medicine. What have we here? Another budding writer? What's come over you all? Why is everyone wishing for help with their writing? Are novels so popular in this day and age? We got you! So you were the one who wrote a first-hand guide to summoning spirits! Why he sound like a damn New Yorker, bro? What <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. Hey, Tony! Hey, Tony! What's your game here? Huh? What's this? Oh my god, why does he really sound like... Hey, Tony! Hey, Tony! Oh. I see. No wonder this felt so familiar. I've walked right into your trap, haven't I? You ask me what my game is here? Well, of course. It was to use this incantation as a means for all the souls of the departed yokai to make their glorious return to the world and plunge all of Inazuma into a brutal, bloody war. Wow, that's a great idea. Very nice. Very nice plan. Oh, did you? Very pog. <laughs> how naive of you to let me possess this body so easily. It's almost like we let you. I sense, yes, great power within him. Mm hmm Good. Good. With this power, no one shall be able to stand in my way. With that dull blade the Traveler has, nobody will stop him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's about to just slap him, bro. Quick, wake up! We gotta stop him! Throw the salt. <laughs> it is futile. You shall never wake him again. This body now belongs to me. <laughs> hey, come on, wake up! Don't let him take your mind! Mm, take it, Jack. Miko already knew what she was doing, man. She's about to start laughing. <laughs> See? She can't take this serious either. Oh my god. Mom! Huh? You're laughing? <laughs> they were pranking her. Oh, Rakusai, you haven't changed a bit. You caught on so quickly. Too mm. perfect. <laughs> Well, you made the face enough times that I couldn't exactly miss the hint. This is what you were going for, yes? Never one to stand on the sidelines of a... Out here spectacle. scheming. Always got to dive in and fan the flames, ah, you mischievous little kitsune, you. What the hell, bro? Look what you've done to this little flying one here. Oh, poor thing scared witless. <laughs> you were having plenty of fun playing the bad guy a moment ago. Now you're trying to blame it all on me? Hmm. Rakusai? Miko, you guys know each other? Yes, we do. Of course we do. <laughs> Allow me to formally introduce the author of A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. And you're Rakusai. super cool with the guy, huh? Uh, no, wait. To be more accurate, it's Urakusai's memory. Okay. Memory? Spirits, memories, they're just different words to describe the same thing. Something that comes from the ley lines. 
Mm. Do you remember that recent incident when the Rift Hounds were gnawing at the sacred Sakura's roots? Yep, we were just you there. You witnessed human memories leaking from the ley lines, didn't you? Well, since there are human memories, of course there are going to be yokai memories too. In life, yokai possess supernatural powers. And even when they are a shadow of their former selves from a bygone era, they still have the ability to control whether they are visible or not. Typically, yokai memories survive longer in the world than those of humans. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I was wandering around the sacred Sakura's roots when I suddenly heard someone yelling, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. Uh huh. It piqued my curiosity. So I popped inside his body and wrote a novel for him. Yeah, quite the novel you ended up writing, huh? That's how it happened. But why did you include a summoning incantation in the novel? Oh, little one. Not to toot my own horn here, but when I was alive, I wasn't just another Kitsune, no. I was a mighty and powerful Dayuko. The memories of other yokai can't a possess Dayuko. human bodies at will like I can. But with this incantation, they can go one last little joyride in the world for a couple of days. Anything they're still itching to do, they can go and get it done. Uh, but... but... Mm. She's trying to say that all the commotion this causes is likely to be a great disturbance to the humans. Yeah, it definitely is. Disturbance? <laughs> I guess you mean that we might leave them with some broken dreams after we leave, hmm? Oh, yes. And they might have a fever or whatever. But you know, I actually think that the most admirable thing about human beings is the way that they go out and shape their fate with their own two hands, given that they're not born blessed with the same powers that we enjoy. As for those who would rather draw on external power than seek to improve themselves, it's quite right that they learn their lesson eventually. I mean, for some of them, yeah. So when you think about it, we're actually doing the humans a big favor. Miko, you agree, don't you? But doing it to all of them that read the book, Jesus. <laughs> yes, that's what I thought too. All right then. You finally convinced Paimon. You guys were right. Mm. What are you scared of, little one? Don't be deceived by her day-to-day -day antics. Miko is actually one of the most powerful yokai out there. I wouldn't doubt it for a second. Mm. Not only that, Irakusai, but my latest work has beaten that book you wrote, A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, to become the most popular in Inazuma. Hmm, of course. You were never one to make extra work for yourself where you can help it. And yet you went to all these lengths to find my painting room, and even took the trouble to summon me. I knew you must have some... Did you come over here to basically say to him, Yeah, I my book sold more than your... <laughs> Petty as you were always the one to pick a quarrel with me when we all used to gather around and share stories. All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? Ha! I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Ooh, I must say it feels good. This late, I can't, I can't wait, Yaimiko, bro. You so petty. <laughs> you so freaking petty, bro. Hmm. I remember when you were just a little girl, always hanging off my shoulders. A few hundred years later, and you're all grown up. Yeah, only a few hundred years. Yeah, no biggie. Oh, Urakusai, how much time do you have left? Hmm. Not much. That goes for all of us, actually. We've all got to go back where we came from in the end. Everyone's quite content in many ways. But they still can't help but ask, are we ever going to have another Hyakyako? <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Urakusai. Arrangements are being made. When my bell rings, it means the moonless night is upon us. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Miko, it's been nice catching up. But I'd better conserve my energy if I want to stick it out until then. So, I'll be on my way now. This was weird right. as hell. Goodbye then, Urakusai. <sighs> One last thing, Miko. I just want to know. Have you been well all these years? I've been great, of course. Every day is a happy one. Mm. Especially these days. Not only do I have my light novels, but I've also met these two delightfully nosy outlanders. And even A is finally starting to come to her senses. 
quite a miracle given how pig-headed she can be. Hmm. Oh, well, great. That's fantastic. Urakusai, you'd be right at home in this era. A great storyteller and artist like yourself would be the Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. And I would personally be hounding you over your next installment. <laughs> there goes that laughing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my guy. Oh, that was uh, quite the experience, yeah? He disappeared! Poof. Are you awake? How are you feeling? Horrible. Are you all there? Here, like last time, repeat after me. Three, two, oh, one. You beat me to it. Looks like your brain is intact. Yes, yes. So, your first possession, hmm? What was it like? Uh, I remember everything pretty clearly. <laughs> Good. Saves me from having to explain everything again. Hell yeah. Hearing Rakusai admit defeat has put me in the most wonderful mood. In return, it's only fair that we make sure to deliver on what they're all hoping for. You mean the moonless night? Yes. Though they only represent a tiny proportion of the memories in the ley lines, it will still be quite a sight to behold when the time comes. Since you've come this far, why don't you do one last thing for me, hmm? I'll need your help with the ritual. Well, let's do it. You cannot be serious, Miko. <laughs> Paimon is pissed. You guys teamed up to scare Paimon just now. If you think Paimon's gonna do anything you ask for, think again! Huh? Oh, come on. I'm really only asking you to finish what you started. Besides, your paychecks are still in my hands. Me! Paycheck? My paycheck. Uh, well, there's no way out now. We're in too yeah. deep. Yeah, we really are in too deep. Challenge completed. Well, Banquet of Parting. Go to the Grand Narukami Shrine and look for Yaimiko. Good lord. Get me the hell out of here. Let's wrap this thing up, shall we? Yeah, we, we're going, we're going. Alright, Yai. This better be it. Got us doing this bullcrap. This better be pretty. Hello there, my little helpers. So nice of you to join me. You're right on time, too. Of course, you're welcome, of course. As if we had a choice. We just want our paychecks. <laughs> so, yeah. Nico, what exactly do we have to do to make this Hiyakiyako happen? Also, to be clear, we actually have no idea what it even means. It might sound ominous, but to put it simply, the Hiyakiyako is just a gathering of the yokai. The Hyaku Yaku? What the hell? Back in the day at Yokai gatherings, once everyone had had plenty to drink, one by one they'd start soaring into the sky with their Yokai powers. There were so many of them that their silhouettes would block out the moon. Hmm. But now, the Yokai memories that leak from the ley lines are weak. They are no longer able to fly. So I will be performing a convocation ritual for them, gathering all the wandering memories together in one place. When the time comes, they will gather in the sky above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Once their energy is spent, they will be satisfied and return to where they belong. I understand now. Okay. I get it. All the preparations for the ritual have actually been made well in advance. Remember the incantation and the mention of Moonless Night that I added to our novel? Yeah, I remember oh, that. yeah! Something about reciting the secret spells of Lady Kitsune... On a moonless night. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Actually, it's not a wish-granting incantation at all. It's a spell to help calm the leyline memories. Mm. When that time comes, let's all pitch in and help send them on their way. I mean, what do you need from me, specifically? I'll start the ritual preparations shortly, and at that time, I need you to do two things. First, tell the shrine maidens to leave the mountain. During the Hyakyako, a whole swarm of yokai memories will be hanging around in the air above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Having the Shrine Maidens leave avoids the bothersome issue of someone potentially getting possessed. Makes sense. After that, I will commence the ritual, and the memories will begin to congregate. 
This will take some time. I need you at the foot of Mount Yogo during this part to keep an eye on nearby monster activity. Okay. The memories are normally dispersed and don't pose a threat. But when their energy is concentrated, it is likely to disturb the monsters. Gotcha. They may see this as an opportunity to try and make it up the mountain. I need you to fend them off so that that doesn't happen. Consider it done, then. Got it. Then what? Hmm. Well, if at that point you felt like coming to the shrine and getting a close-up view of the yokai... Yeah, so they could possess me? Sure. So no. Okay, let's get going! Let's-a go! It's how the shrine meet, uh, maidens to leave temporarily. Alright, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you gotta get the hell out of here. You gotta... To send the mountain. Dash. Are those Lady Coochie's orders? Mm-hmm. Yep. Miku said the ritual she's gonna perform soon might pose a physical danger to you all. I see. I'll evacuate everyone right away. W what about you? Our job isn't done. We'll be taking care of a couple other things for her. And once we're done with that, we're gonna come back and do the ritual together. I'm gonna make sure she's safe it too. Seems yes, like of Lady course. Gucci places great trust in you. Mm -hmm. Lady Kuji's never allowed anyone else to be in her presence when she's conducted rituals like this in the past. Wow. Thank you for helping with the ritual, and good luck. Thank you. Don't worry, we're much stronger than we look. Yes. <laughs> of course, but of course. Miku's about to start the ritual. Come on, let's go deal with the monsters down the mountain. <gasps> I'm moving as quick as I can, Paimon. Dang. Not everybody can just fly like you. Lord. I could glide though. Mm -hmm. Alright, and down we go. Do this. Boom. That way we move quicker. See? Big brain. And now in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and the 1. As night falls, the monsters slowly He's congregate into the area. Really up. Listen, let's get rid of them for Mika. Yes. I see that enemy oh, behind me, too. Let's do it. Nice and easy, nice and easy. How y'all doing? So I sort of can't let you get up this mountain. So you're gonna have to get body. Right here. Right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Witness the power of Kugwa. Illusion shattered. Inazuma shines eternal. Top of the morning. <laughs> we good? Oh no. Still more, huh? Safe to say that they didn't stand a chance. Listen, we're doing great. We're doing very good right now. The camera angle's sort of going all over the place. Yeah, they dead as hell. <laughs> Let us commence in the ritual. Oh boy. This should be very exciting. Ooh, they hit us with a little fancy scene. Oh, well, we actually get a nice cutscene out of this thing. Wow, so many. They're everywhere. Huh? Jesus. Yes, the memories of the yokai. They haven't been able to relax and soar through the air like this for a long time. I believe it. And I love seeing the Genshin cutscenes like this. I'm telling you, this is about to look like Fantasia, though. You a damn right, little one. Disney movie. You look a little nervous. <laughs> nervous? Never. I've never seen anything like this before. Whoa, they've really blocked out the moon. Oh, damn. It does look a little intimidating, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. But I know them. They may be loud and brash at times, but they are good and brave souls. I'll take your Even word for it. after losing their lives in a brutal war, they have never given in to grief or despair. 
Alas, their time is short. Hammer angle. <laughs> Okay, Yai, Yai about to show off and make us go into simp mode real quick. Yep. What type of crackhead powers do you have, woman? Yeah. And all feasts come to an end. <laughs> Since you're sorry to see them leave, why don't you do the recital along with me? Okay. Oh, Hakushin, cause of this enchantment. In reverence, I perform this rite. In reverence, I perform this rite. <laughs> to actually start doing a thing. A guiding light. To be a guiding light, yes. <laughs> there you go. We have done it. Look at Paimon's eyes. They've probably always been like that. I just never really looked at Paimon's eyes. <laughs> oh, this is a very beautiful scene. Says, recite the secret spells of Lady Kitsune tonight, and our wishes will come true. Ah, they're all wishing. This is the lady that was supposed to give oh, the traveler a damn outfit, but the traveler said no. I perform this right to be a guiding light. Your unrivaled power. I will win all of my 50-50s in Genshin Impact and get free primo gems from Genshin. There we go. Wow. Murakusai. You asked if I was doing well. Really, every day is a happy day for me. But watching you all leave now, I can't well, but feel a little lonely. Mm. Just a little, of course. Hmm. Just a little bit. Just that was nice. Thought, the ritual went very smoothly. Thank you both. Miku, are you all right? Hmm? Oh, I'm great. Amiko, Apple. But the look on your face just now. I'm fine, seriously. Really, I... Mm. Oh. Honestly, you two. Mm. Miko! Fine. Well, if you're dead set on doing something for me, you can treat me to a meal. Of course. Sure, no problem. A meal it is. A meal? It's a deal. <laughs> okay. Well, see you soon then. Oh, daily welcome. Enjoy. Food delivery? Wait, wait. Wait till the following day? I feel like I've been in this quest for a while, huh? This thing been long. I feel like it's been longer than a ride in Shogun. What the? Wait till the next day. Okay. There you go. There you go. Just let the clock do its thing, but that was a beautiful animation. Very, very beautiful. And. And we are good. We set. Today is the day we agreed to treat Miko to a meal. The venue is Uyu Restaurant. Uyu? So, a second, I don't know if you were about to say Uyu. Like, huh? Uyu Restaurant. What the hell? It's a name. Probably is a name for a restaurant. It wouldn't even shock me to this point. I'll be honest. Wouldn't be the most shocking thing in the world. Freaking Uyu Restaurant, bro. We are here. Oh, the wait is unbearable. How is the next chapter of the miraculous adventures of the traveler not released yet? Mm. It was quite a surprise when the moonless night finally came. Yeah, that huge black cloud over Mount Yogo that night. It just seemed to form out of nowhere. But then nothing happened after I made a wish using the method in that book. Yeah. I guess light novels are just fiction after all, huh? That night was definitely the nail in the coffin for the incantations from novels fad. Still, something tells me the miraculous adventures of the Traveler will remain an interesting series for a long time to come. <laughs> Safe to say that. Wait till you hear the next region sooner. Huh? Paimon can't see Miku anywhere. Guess she's not out here. Uh, maybe she went inside already. Let's head in and look for her. 
Yeah, I, where you at? You in here racking up the bill for us already? <laughs> I love how freaking A starts climbing up the door. You in here? Ha, huh, my little friends. There you are. I see a whole fish head. Nico, what is this? You started eating without us? I did, yes. You're paying after all. Oh, here we go. Watch her use the money that we should have got paid for the I food. I thought of being able to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the finest sake, all for absolutely no. free. Oh, I just couldn't wait any longer. You are such a menace. Ah, boss, see these two faces here? Remember them. They're the oh, ones picking up the bill later. Oh my god. god. Alrighty. No, you don't remember us. Put on the mask, Paimon. Let me get that mask. That Fatui mask. What's gotten into you? Come on, sit yourselves down. This is ridiculous. You have to try this fish. It's found exclusively in the waters around Seirai Island. They shipped it to Inazuma overnight, and it was still alive right up until I ordered it. Wow. Or maybe you'd rather try this? I know, I know. I normally can't bring myself to drink sake this expensive either. If you don't drink alcohol, that's fine too. There are all kinds of fruit juices covering the whole price spectrum. What the hell? Nico, you are outrageous! Last time we were here working on the novel, all you ordered for us was the plainest kushikatsu! <laughs> hmm? Strange, I remember no such thing. Kushikatsu and fried tofu, that was it. Oh, so what? You did offer to treat me to a meal, didn't you? Anyway, I am something of a VIP, you know. Wouldn't you find it embarrassing to treat me anything short of lavishly? You about to be eating off the dollar menu in a second. Miko, That's what you about to be doing. It's going to be super expensive. Aren't you afraid we won't be able to afford it? Well, the money that you made up for the books and everything, we'll just use that. So really, you worked for nothing in reality. Enjoy being broke. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. You can most definitely afford it. They're still printing your light novel by the batch, you know. You have quite the generous payment due. Uh, what? Aw, oh, darn it! She tricked us into this! Miko was after our Mora from the very beginning! We've been taken for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the looks on your faces right Damn. now. Too perfect. <laughs> Evil. Evil woman. Oh, by the way. Since nobody's wishes came true on the moonless night, novels with incantations are no longer in vogue. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to come up with something new for the next chapter of The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler. You're gonna have to wait till we go to Sumero the for that. The is looming. I'm counting on you. I don't got anything else right now. What the hell are you talking about? Woman, you're evil. You're evil, you know that? Huh. At least both of them are chilling there. Freaking yai and A. That's pretty cool. But what the hell, bro? <laughs> what the actual hell was this mission? I'm so done. I'm actually so done. This lady is like pure evil at its core. Like, legit. Legit, dude. I'm over here posing at this point. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you enjoyed this video, y'all know the deal. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading Discord server in the description box below. Um, it's like four in the morning and I have to go get these videos up and it's gonna take a while to process So if you are new, please tell anybody about the channel also I'm trying to grow the channel as much as we can I'm out here on the grind for y'all. So other than that, this has been quite the journey But yeah, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Stay safe. And as always, don't do crack Be sure to subscribe to the Special K Experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.